some of the comments that may have been taken out of context uh, were simply comments that said, if we are truly aligned, if we're truly aligned with what God intends us to be, and we're thoughtful, and we truly go to prayer with this, truly go to prayer, that we will, we will know the right path. And the right path, we fear no one. Now, I know that radical Islam is a violent religion. I know that it will not sustain itself. It has never been able to sustain itself. And the only way it can sustain itself is that if we become weak, but if we become what we know we can become through Jesus Christ, we know that it has no threat to us. And that's what I was trying to convey to the ministers. Uh, and I was surprised, truly surprised, that it was taken out of context because I do believe that over the last four or five weeks, we have seen what unmitigated greed and selfishness and self-serving interests can do to our country. And I think it is a wake-up call, and I think God is speaking to us, and I do believe that through prayer and, a, and an effort to return to the values that we know work, America once again will return, and it's great now, but we do not want to continue on this path of selfishness and greed and self-servingness and not, and not pay attention to our families and our children. I just think we need to have more leadership that reminds us over and over again that what made America great was the Christian religion. As you know, I'm a Southern Baptist. And uh, um, at the Baptist pastor's, pastor, pastor's conference, many of the pastors that I talked to, at least talked talk to specifically about it, felt that your comments were taken totally out of context, as you just mentioned. And so just specifically, just in you know, a short answer, do you, do you think that America should be concerned about radical Islam? Once we return to what we truly believe, we're, we don't have radical Islam to fear. We may have to confront its violence. We may have to protect ourselves. Radical Islam is a dead-end religion based on violence, falsehood, and a philosophy that says the human life is not worth anything. We understand that that is not what we believe. So as far as that being a religion that would threaten my faith or any Christian, I just sep simply do not believe it. Barbara, you think it's been wonderful. I appreciate the time that you've had to spend with us and then talk about these issues. And I think it's going to be a great comfort to the people of this district to know about how you feel about these issues and, and the concerns that America has from other the, the, the people that want to destroy us in America, but also take in mind and understanding that it's also tremendous amount of things we have to look in for inwardly on it. Well, Randy, Randy, I appreciate you, and and I appreciate what all all of our Christian leaders are doing, and 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 particularly, I appreciate all all of our Christians in, in America who are who are who are out there saying what they believe, doing what they believe, and and working endlessly and tirelessly to get America on a track that we know will bring it to greatness.